رہتی ہے اور اس کے اوپر برف پڑی ہوئی ہے اگر آپ نے فوٹو بھی دیکھیں تو وہ برف پڑی ہوئی ٹھنڈ لوگ کہتے ہیں کہ یہ ٹھنڈ ٹھنڈ سوری ٹھنڈا آتفشاں ہے ٹھیک ہے لیکن اس میں سے ایشیز نکلی رہتی ہیں وہ کچھ کرتا نہیں یعنی وہ جرب دیتا ہے لیکن ہوتا کیا ہے کہ وہ آٹومیٹکلی کریک ہے اب اس کی ریزن کیا بتاؤں کہ زلزلہ کیوں آتا ہے وہ تو زمین کا اندر سے ویسے ہی کریک ہے جب اس کو پریشر ملتا ہے تو آٹومیٹکلی وہ کریک ہے وہ لاوا باہر آ جاتا ہے وہ گیسز باہر آ جاتی ہیں جب آپ کا کہیں کریک نہیں ہوگا تو کیا ہوگا کہ وہ اتنی انرجی ہوتی ہے کہ وہ وہاں کریک پیدا کیا جاتا ہے وہ کریک پیدا کس طرح کیا جاتا ہے کہ وہ پلیٹس کو موو کیا جاتا ہے پریشر ڈالا جاتا ہے وہ موو موومنٹ ہوتی ہے تو وہ آپ کو جڑ یا اس کے جڑ کے زیادہ لگتے ہیں تو وہ زلزلہ بن جاتا ہے یعنی ٹیکٹانک ایک اور ایک ورکینک تو ورکینک میں کیا ہوا آپ کا لاوا باہر آ گیا ٹھیک ہے یا اس کو میگما کہتے ہیں میگما جب باہر آتا ہے زمین سے تو لاوا بن جاتا ہے تو دوسرا ہوتا ہے کہ آپ کو ایک ٹیکٹینک یعنی جس میں آپ کو جھٹکے لگتے ہیں موومنٹ ہوتی ہے آپ اس کو آپ آرس کوئی کہتے ہیں زلزلہ کہتے ہیں وہ آرس کوئی میں نے پہلے بتایا تھا کہ اٹ از بیسیکلی ریلیز آف انرجی ان دی فارم آف ویوز اور ویوز کیا ہیں سزمک ویوز ہیں ان کی ایک اپنی پاور ہے وہ ہر جگہ سے گزرتی ہوئی نکلتی ہیں آپ ادھر گزرتی ہیں وہ یہ مطلب کہ تباہی مچاتی ہیں اور سونامی جو ہے دیٹ از بیسیکلی دی واٹر ویس زلزلہ کہ وہ جب پانی میں آیا اس نے وہ تباہی مچا دی پانی کے تھرو ڈاکٹر صاحب جب ارتھ کو ایک آ گیا یا سنامی آ گئی آپ کی کیا ایڈوائز ہے کہ لوگوں کو کس کے لیے تیار رہنا چاہیے کہ اگر ہمارے علاقے میں ارتھ کو ایک آ جاتا ہے یا سنامی ہو جاتی ہے یا جیسے یہ ریئیکٹر ایٹامک ریئیکٹر میں لیزر جو لیک ہونے شروع ہو گئے ہیں ایز اے ڈاکٹر آپ لوگوں کو کیا ایڈوائز کریں گے کہ وہ کیا پریکاشنس کریں نیوکلیئر کا جیسے آپ بات کر رہے ہیں گورنمنٹ نے آلریڈی آئرین ٹیبلٹس پرووائڈ کر دی ہیں لوگوں کے لیے ان کو ایویکویٹ کرنا ہے کیونکہ یو کان اسٹے ود ان دا ویسنٹی آف ویئر دیز ریڈیشن لیکنگ تو دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ از ٹو گیٹ اوے اینڈ ٹو ہیو اے کام اینڈ سٹ اف کوہیرنٹ اپروچ ٹو ایویکویٹنگ پیپل کیونکہ دی ادر تھنگ یو ڈونٹ وانٹ از پینک اور یو نو اے ہیوج نمبر اف پیپل لیونگ اینڈ اینڈ ماس پینک وچ کین کریئیٹ مور پرابلمز Um, in terms of your tsunami or earthquake, I think obviously you have to be safe. So to get to high ground or safety, um, having enough food supplies, medical supplies. I think it's, it's, tsunami it's just knocked out all the sort of medical infrastructure, the general infrastructure of these coastal towns and other places. Or uh, your roads and connecting them to the main cities have also been damaged. So I think the army is having trouble getting to them. The NGOs are having trouble getting there as well. Mm-hmm. So it's about... So know, the affected people, what should they do? Well, what they need to do is obviously, first of all, stay calm, which is, it sounds, you know, the, 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 something which... which so is don't panic, easy just to, stay calm? Yeah, and I think that's something mm-hmm. the Japanese actually are very stoical and you have to give them a huge amount of respect. I don't know if that would have been the same... If, God forbid it happened here or somewhere else. I think, you know, we're of a different temperament, perhaps. Like, and they're very calm at the moment. That may change, but, you know, for the time being. Um, but what they need to do is basically to find shelter. You need to have blankets. You get tanki, vajasi, yajasab, kuchora. Have enough food, dry food, tinned food. You know, these are the sorts of things that I'm sure that they will have had stocked up. Um, but I think that no one expected such a huge scale of hmm. damage. Um, you know, so I'm sure they, you know, they did have shelters, they had various things uh, in, in, you know, d- in reserve for this sort of eventuality. Like, and I think that the scale of it has really shocked everybody. Um, but the main thing is to stay calm, to get shelter. Um, you need food, water, medicines. These are the things which, you know, it's easier said than done. And I think the government is, is, you know, has to provide these things through the army or through the NGOs. Um, there's nothing more that people can do at the moment, I don't feel. I think it needs a lot of intervention from outside to help these people because essentially, you know, they're in a very difficult situation. So basically they should stay calm? You have, yes, yeah, stay calm. Stampede not going? No, no, exactly. You just panic. I think that's why the panic government be, you know, is, is releasing information. It's trying not to create the sense of panic, um, although, you know, it's, it's natural to feel that way. Like, and if there's panic and a mass exodus, you could have... You know, the roads are in a terrible condition, you know, there's not enough petrol, there's huge problems going on. Um, but I think, you know, let help come to them, um, you know, through, I don't know, drops of aid from above, you know, which is something which is possible, which I'm sure they're trying to do. Um, but I don't, you know, I think for them to try and, 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 and move. Also, the other thing is the buildings that have survived are probably still very dangerous to go into and, and collect belongings and these sorts of things. And you can end up, you know, having far more injuries. So... 
I think the main thing is for pe you know for people to stay as calm as possible, but for help to arrive to them. And, and I think that's where the Japanese government and the international community as well, um, you know, has a huge role to play. And I would say Britain, Pakistan as well. Japan helps Pakistan during the earthquake. Japan is hmm. always there. Always, sir. Always there in Africa, always. everywhere. In, in flood, may he was the highest donor. Absolutely, the hmm. ha Hamario, but it's our responsibility to help and give something back now, I think, mm. when they're in such great need. Mm. Mm. They were the main donor in the flood. The main donor. <coughs> Engineers have within limited resources, what a third world country like Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, how, how they can make a, a earthquake resistance buildings, infrastructures? I think it will be very difficult uh, in terms of the... If, if the issue is that the majority of Punjab or mm. is a rural area, so they can't, they actually do not understand it. And the majority of them, they, they think they can't afford it. But actually it can be done very easily. It just needs to tie the structure with concrete and reinforcement. So when it shakes, that it doesn't actually collapse. So because we use masonry generally or concrete in rural areas, it can honestly be done very easily. It's just the government needs to promote the idea. They need to show it to the people on the television. Look, this is very easy. It's quite simple. It probably only costs you extra 20%, maybe 15% of the cost of the whole project. On the other hand, in, in urban areas like Karachi or Lahore, I don't maybe have a chance because, to be honest, what I've seen is corruption. I forget about the earthquake, is it the fire rating on the buildings hardly ever there. So it's the, the, the cover, we know that we designed building to protect the reinforcement by concrete. And the, the quality of the concrete used and, and no vibration, there's hardly any control there. And if somebody does come to question you, they're paid off. So in, I think if, if the earthquake was to happen in Karachi, we'll have a big, big disaster. Yeah because I don't think any building will stand up, everything will fall through. And the only people I think will survive is the shanty town, because it's, they're just tin huts, and I think they're the only one who will survive. So it's, it forget, it's the, not just the earthquake, it's actually the overall control in Pakistan. So um, it, it, even if there was a fire in a building, I don't think they'll survive, because the fire will burn through the concrete, through the reinforcement, the whole building will fall. So I think it's education at the end. Uh, they need to understand it, and I think overall it's the law. And uh, going back to what the doctor said, the comparison with Pakistan and Japan, if you ever see a train station in Japan and in China, they will come and stand in a queue orderly. Mm. Not like Britain, that we're trying to push, you know, who gets into the train first. Mm. And that's, I think, what saved Japanese. They are very orderly, very organized, very calm, and not like... A, especially the Asians, but they're just impeding, and that's why we have a lot of injuries when we go to Hajj. Mm -hmm. Because there's no control, there's chaos, people are uneducated, they try and beat each other, and most of the time, other than the fire, when people die in Hajj, it actually is stampede. And I think, I, I think for Pakistan, we've got a long, long road ahead. I think it's going to be very difficult. आप बिहेवियर की बिहेवियर की बात कर रहे हैं कॉमों के बिहेवियर की मैं सबासी से पूछते हैं कि पाकिस्तानी कॉम का जो बिहेवियर है ये दो एक्सट्रीम पे रहता है कि यानी अगर जैसे अर्थक्विक आ गया फ्लड आ गया तो हम अपने कपड़े देने को भी तैयार हो जाते हैं अपने फूड भी शेयर कर लेते हैं अगर हमारी टीम मैच हार जाए तो हम उनको हैंग करने को तैयार हो जाते हैं ये हम दो एक्सट्रीम पे क्यों रहते हैं एजुकेशन की कमी है एजुकेशन की भी कमी है और सेकेंडली हमारी बेसिकली नहीं इतना पेशेंस नहीं रहा लोगों में क्योंकि वो बहुत टफ टाइम गुजार रहे हैं और बहुत टफ आपको पहले अभी लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर से ही हम टफ सिचुएशन से ही गुजर रहे हैं स्टेबिलिटी नहीं है इकोनॉमी में गवर्नमेंट में जापान में आप देखें फ्लड आया लेकिन उनकी बैंकिंग सेक्टर इतना स्ट्रांग था कि उन्होंने अपने रिजर्व स्ट्रांग थे उन्होंने इन्वेस्ट किए जो कि पाकिस्तानी बैंक कैश इंजेक्ट किया उसमें एग्जैक्टली कभी सोच भी नहीं सकते आपके पाकिस्तानी गवर्नमेंट या बैंकिंग सेक्टर कोई आपको इतना सपोर्ट कर सके और इस वजह से लोगों का जनरली जो एटीट्यूड है वो इस तरह का हो गया क्योंकि वो लोग एक टफ टाइम से गुजर रहे हैं और यू नो दे आर नो डा माई स्टेबल बट आई थिंक अगर उनको प्रॉपर हैंडलिंग मिल जाए प्रॉपर एजुकेशन हो जाए एजुकेशन हो जाए कुछ वो रिलैक्स हो जाएं गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से भी ऑल दिस टॉप वन फिर शायद वो भी क्यों बना के ट्रेन में